Hello, Tom Zajac, the Director of Quality Assurance here at iPartner, the development team that's put together products such as Tiki Live, Blinko TV, Stream Base, uh, Jam on Cam, etc. etc. Um, what my goal today is to help educate our you know, current user base on a few of the tool sets that are available to them to increase their actual video broadcasting quality. Um, we're going to start doing this on a weekly basis, um, just talking about either industry tool sets or Tiki Live tool sets that we can help provide you guys with in order to actually make sure that you guys are pushing the best video content quality um, possible through your current hardware setup. Um, today's topic of discussion is the deinterlace option that is present in both the web and desktop broadcaster. Um, you can read below um, within this blog article. Um, I'm going to give a few examples of videos that were shot with the deinterlace on, with it off, I'm going to give a couple screenshots of video with it on versus with it off and we'll walk through the scenarios and when you should apply the deinterlace option versus when you shouldn't. Um, essentially um, what the deinterlace does is it fixes what um, traditional mediums for um, recording content, recording video do in order to utilize the persistence of vision effect which it essentially displays two frames um, uh, that, that have been shot 1 50th of a second apart and it displays alter, or alternating lines of uh, color or images or pixelization um, and essentially is what it does is it tricks your eye and it actually gives a more aesthetically pleasing effect when the medium when, when you're watching on the correct source such as a CRT TV um, or anything along those lines now LCD TVs plasma screen TVs currently cannot utilize the interlace option so they have these built-in deinterlace tool sets that actually take care of it on its own. But when you're going through the internet, um, you need to do it for because for the the computer monitor because it's it doesn't necessarily have that built in. Um, so read below, guys. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple different scenarios of when you should use it, when you should not use the deinterlace, as well as where the deinterlace option is located on our broadcasters. Um, if you have any suggestions for future. Um, uh, future topics uh, for this blog article. I'm going to be coming at you every week uh, right here from our marathon office um, with a couple suggestions and um, let me know, give me constructive feedback and I'll try to mold this to um, whatever you guys need. Alright, thank you and uh, keep streaming.